Hey guys, I'm going to do this video showing how to XY zero without a probe. Um, I had somebody ask about this, so I just wanted to make a quick video on how to do that. Um, I do have a probe and I tend to use that when I'm um, working off the lower left corner, but some people don't have one, so I wanted to offer um, a way on how to do that. So I have my um, eighth inch bit in here, and for the sake of the video, um, I plan on switching that out to a 60 degree. Uh, so if your first bit is a V bit, you can't XY with a V bit, um, unless you're eyeballing the corner, of course, but uh, even with a probe. Um, so you always want to put in a straight bit of some sort. I have my eighth inch in there um, in order to get your XY more accurate. I'm going to use this level. And I'm just going to place it right up against my workpiece here. Hopefully, you can see that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and jog my machine over and make sure the bit there is low enough. So once you get close to where you want to be, you want to lower um, the increments of movement as you get closer. Um, a bit lower there. And then once you feel that nudge, you just want to back off a little and you can always lower the increments again. So that feels good for the uh, X0. Uh, and then you're just going to want to do the same thing here for the Y. You get the idea. Jog. And then, um, so you feel that bump back off. Lower the increments. And then jog a little bit more. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with that, with that XY location. Um, now I'm, I plan on changing over to my V-bit, like I mentioned. So I'm going to raise my Z. And then go ahead and change that bit here. And when you're changing the bit, you want to just be careful not to uh, move the machine in any direction. It keeps track of movement when you're jogging uh, with the computer, but it can't keep track of where it's at if it gets bumped. Oops. Okay, so now I know my V bit is X and Y zeroed. I like to use the probe for the Z zero. I know some of you like to use the paper method. Uh, whatever works best for you. Um, so for whatever reason, when you're doing a Z only zero, you're supposed to flip the probe upside down. Uh, I'm not sure why, but I'm a rule follower and I learned that one, so that's what I do. Um, if I were to X, Y, Z all at once with a straight bit, I would have the probe in the corner like that. But you can see the probe isn't very stable here on the edge. so. What I like to do is come over to the computer, set that for one inch, um, and then jog the machine, counting twice on the X and twice on the Y, and just kind of make note of that movement. So now, um, I'm, I don't really care where I Z on this, but if you had a specific spot that you want to Z, um, you can certainly jog it over to that location. So I'm just going to go through the process here so you can follow along with the rest of this, um, how this process works. All right, so now Z probe is put away. I'll go ahead and do that. And now it's asking, set XY zero or use last XY. Um, use last is great for a bit change in the middle of a um, program or project, um, but we don't want to use that. We also don't want to use 
set x, y, that is going to set it to this location being the x, y, zero. We don't want that. Um, so we remember over two, back two, and now your x, y, zero. Now you can click that and you're ready to carve.